can't put a girl on Jaguar. You know these car guys, they're going to eat her alive. It wouldn't be fair. It's not bad. Is this about Joan being made partner? What? My hands are tied. She's been with us 13 years. What am I supposed to do? It's the circumstances, you know. I want you to know that the day you saw something in me, my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's been a privilege to not only be by your side, but to be treated like a prodigy. And uh, for you to be my mentor and my champion. I'm sensing a but. But I think I've reached a point in my life where I'm going to have more experience. Really? I'm giving my notice. I've accepted another offer. Are you done? I'm giving my customary two weeks. My last day of work will be the third. And don't oh, think. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Before you go any further. Okay, listen. I know things have been crazy around here. And I've probably taken you for granted. I I've definitely taken you for granted. Okay, but look, I'm impressed. This is the right time to ask for a raise. Oh, come on. I'm serious. You're serious? It wasn't easy. Oh, I'm sure. I'll play along. Congratulations. Where will you be going? for just maybe a second, pretend that I'm not responsible for every good thing that's ever happened in your career. And you tell me the number, or you just make one up, and I'll beat it. There is no number. <laughs> There's no number. How long are you going to play this out? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know this is what you would do. Don't bother waiting till the third. I got a whole room full of interns out there. I'll get by. Connected. 
Yeah, I see. So how do you, I mean, do you keep some kind of inventory here? The car's not from our lot, ma'am. But how do you determine that? I mean, you've got to be keeping some kind of checklist. Well, I would know. I'm the executive sales manager. Yeah, I understand. There still has to be we some We run a kind pretty of... tight ship here. Yeah. I understand that. But, sir, how do you determine? I mean, are you counting daily? Is there some sort of a list? I mean, come on. How are you keeping inventory here? Ma'am, I answered your question. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. Ma'am, I answered your question. I'm cooperating here, and there's no missing. Okay, well, listen, you don't have any reason to get snippy with me, sir. I'm just doing my job. No, no, I'm not. I'm cooperating here. But we're doing all we can. Sir, can I talk to Mr. Bevestin, please? Mr. Lundergaard? Well, heck, if you want to play games here, I'm doing all I can for you, but I'll do a damn lot count. Right now, sir? Yeah, right now. You're darn tootin' so damn important to you. Okay, so sorry, sir. Ah, whatever. Can you believe her? <laughs> <laughs> Interpretation is the most important means of divination for you know, the inner world sees sights in which the outer world is Oh, Come on. <laughs> oh, 
like, ah. just, just, like, just like, tinksy little prophecy. Right. Get you a blanket. There you go. Snug as a bug in a rock. Good night. Grandpa? Yeah. I'm kind of scared about tomorrow. Oh, you're going to blow them out of the water. I guarantee it. They won't know what hit them. Beautiful girl in the world. No, you're just saying that. No, no, I'm not. I love you. And it's not because of your brains or your personality. It's because you're beautiful, inside and out. It's okay. What's the matter? I don't want to be a loser. You're not a loser, Olive. Why would you say that? Where did you hear such a thing? That hates losers. That's what he said. Huh. But you're not a loser. And your dad would never hate you, ever. But what if I lose tomorrow? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up a minute. Do you know what a loser is? A real loser is someone who's so afraid of not winning that they don't even try. That's not you. You're in the contest. You're going to dance. So even if you win or you don't win, you've already won. You're trying, right? Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I know you're going to do great there tomorrow. We're going to have fun tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right. You know what? We can just tell them all to go straight to hell. <laughs> all right. It's time to get ready for bed. For real this time. <laughs> I love you. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I will.
screwed up. Why can't you just pretend? Hmm? Pretend to be what? You pretend to be Mrs. Doubtfire, you pretend to be Pudgy the Bird, and all those other things, so why can't you and Mom just, like, pretend to be happy? We probably could. Then we could still be a family. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we would. But we'd be a pretend family. And it wouldn't be real, and you'd know. You can't just fake your way through life. You can't act every day. I think I proved that today. And you can't act your whole life. But if life is far more wonderful and beautiful than that, is nice, but it's just a job. Yeah, and it's your job to be our father. No. No, it's not a job. It's my joy to be your father. I get to act, Lydia. I get to act like a fool on stage, but I am your father. That's who I am. Rain or shine, no matter what happens, I'm your father. It's the one good thing I have in my life. Stage yelling like that. <laughs> I've done a lot worse. Yeah, I know. Look, uh, mom's calling. Yeah. She'll be home. Like I ain't trip, like I ain't fro, like I ain't never for a minute for 
for show. Like I ain't big, like I ain't huge, like I ain't pay dues, like I ain't full, like I ain't cool, like I ain't build an empire in the zoo, like I like I ain't a fixture. I never knew Twister, I never did music for the alpha dog picture. Oh yeah! I need to recruit all the soldiers.
Chances are, this all actually happened in the bathroom. Never forget, never forget. The moon talks to me about the stars. I talk to him about the moon. Never forget, never forget. <laughs>
garlic for dinner at dinner. She had a major allergic reaction, which means she's, the, she's out of the poke up and the, oh, then I don't have a co-pilot. It's not an accident. Bianca's behind it. How do you know? That doesn't matter. You need that tomorrow? I'm gonna take her down. Wait. You're doing the bad cats? You're willing to do that? For me? I want to humiliate Bianca so badly that the bitter taste of defeat burns in her throat. <laughs> yeah, but you're mostly doing it because we're friends, right? Tell me how she keeps winning. The jar brain cramp. The past two years, no other boats made it across the lake and back without sinking. Sounds like sabotage. Well, there are no rules to the pump cup, and she is a siren, which makes her the master of the water. Then we just need to beat her at her own game. Where are you going? Wait for me. <coughs> Sounds like sabotage. Well, there are no rules to the pump cup. And she is a siren, which makes her the last big forward. Then we just need to beat her at her own game. Where are you going? Wait for me. For sure. Number one, you got a horse I can plow all day. And number two, I'm, I'm better than any man out there because let's face it, they're all either full of mischief or old. Anyways, I know your plight. My plight. Am I hard to understand because you keep repeating everything I say? Anyway, I don't expect any money. I don't really care for it anyway, you know? And the uh, I expect to eat and board at the same table. I am not a servant. Uh, you're not a servant. <laughs> People have to empty their own night jars is what I mean. Right. Right. <laughs> so is, is that a yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, my name's Ruby. I already know your name. And, uh, I mean, I think... <gasps> Lord knows I know 
my Bible, but God, I can name every principal river in Europe, but I can't name a single stream in this in this, in this county. Why? If there if a thing had a function, if I might do something with it, God. It was seen as unsuitable for me to learn. Why? I was raised to be an educated companion, not a useful member of society. <laughs> you could ask why about pretty much everything when it comes to me. Well, you got a nice fence over there. That fence is the only thing I have ever ever done made a tangible result in the world. <laughs> so you trying to tell me you never wrapped your legs around a man? Ruby. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that is Georgia, I believe. His name is Georgia? No, no, I, it's not his name, I believe. That's where he's from. You know, I know that's meant to be the ugliest state under the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Why exactly do you want to know his name? I can't hear you. <clears throat> hey, what are, what are those that cluster of stars? That would be Orion. What about them shaped like a wishbone? That is Taurus the bull. Right. There's Gemini. And that's Canis Major, Orion's big dog. Look at you. Already turning into a Highland girl. Ruby, I have always known my stars. That's never really been my problem. Right. Well. Better get to bed. Gotta be up before sun comes up. Know what I mean? <laughs> Is that really necessary? Ruby! Wait. Blessed day, Esther. Blessed day, Aunt Lydia. It's okay. Here, dear. I've heard this morning surprising news. I wonder if you can help me get to the bottom of something. Three weeks ago was Commander Waterford's funeral, was it not? You remember that, don't you? Yes. No. I want you to be honest with me. You understand. Esther, you understand. Yes, Aunt Lydia. The day of the funeral, you had a private audience with Commander Putnam. Now, you can tell me the truth. There is nothing to be ashamed of. I have to ask you, did you, by any chance, even unwittingly, command the t attention of him? No. God knows our truths. I didn't do anything. He raped me. He raped me. That's terrible. That's terrible. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm what? 
What? You're not sorry. They all do it, and you know they do it. You are not sorry. I think what you need right now is to rest, dear. Because you're tired. Don't fucking touch me! You're, you're with child. Get off of me! Don't fucking touch me! Take a rest, dear. Get out! that's been going on and I thought you know who, who would care if I was gone I mean Trudy would care but she doesn't she doesn't really know me but you do I know you I think you're perfect Pete I'm not perfect yes you are I wish I'd picked you then Shamed you into being with me. I didn't want that. Uh, I don't understand. You you got me pregnant, Pete. I had a baby, and I gave it away. Are you joking? No. <laughs> you, you must be joking. Pete, we had, I we had a kid? I wanted different things. You got rid of it? I've given so much. 
so much of myself to other people. Pete, okay, one day I was me, and the next day so much of me was gone, I didn't know who I was. I wanted to keep what I had left. Why would you tell me that? I'm sorry, could you? What are you going to do? Are you going to take me back to the orphanage? Huh? Easier to carry a little girl than it will be to carry me now. Don't pretend that you were an angel. Jeez. Don't pretend you were a mother or a wife. Do not bring your darkness into this house. darkness. God, you made me think he was scared of me. He wasn't scared of me. He was sick of you. He knew that I could see exactly what you are. <laughs> and what was that? Like me. I have killed a lot of people. But I wasn't exactly a happy person. <laughs> you? Huh. You were never a happy person. It's not true. And it's not funny. You were bad from the start. You didn't even cry as a baby. That is some bullshit myth that you make up to make yourself feel better. You! I cried! I did cry! You ruined me! You took everything from me! You took him! You had control. He would do anything for you because you had that darkness. You know, I mean, he thought you would do something to us, to me. You know, I, I didn't mind that you left me there. God. I didn't even mind that you never came back for me. What I mind is that you, after all this time, you won't admit 
what you are, what I am. I am my mother's daughter. he hurts me, the higher I go, the longer I stay, until, um, well, like I said, he's been very affectionate lately. But at some point you get the power back, hmm? When my bruises fade, and he doesn't feel as guilty or as insecure, then the whole cycle starts over again. Where is he now? Phoenix. He left this morning. <laughs> when are you gonna leave him, Silas? After he hurts you badly? After he hurts the children? He would never hurt the children. I know an apartment, locally, if you don't want to disrupt the boys' lives. I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. I don't think that's really necessary. Stop the refrigerator. Make sure your utilities are paid for. Have the bed set up so for the kids. So then we can finally remove the where on God's green earth would I go from the equation. You have a place to stay, a mindset of another life, shall you need it, which we both know you will. Okay, you know, I don't I don't think you should really be suggesting that. Okay, I think you're overstepping. I don't think you should, you should be behaving like Here's this. Here's a number of the Better Business Bureau. You can report me. In the meantime, start documenting the abuse take photographs, write everything down, keep hospital records that could be useful in the court battle. Men like your husband typically do go for custody. He has the money, the resources, but most importantly, he has the ego to see this through. I don't understand why you're being so alarmed. Because I'm alarmed. Have you told anybody else about the abuse? No. Why not? I don't, I don't know. If you were to guess? I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe my self-worth is based on how other people see me. I'm just amazed by the self-awareness underneath my I'm just aware by my client's self-awareness underneath that heart shell. I'm going to confide and do it today. 
Because? Because if not, you know what Perry's lawyer will be asking. Have you told anybody else, Mrs. Wright? No? Really? Nobody at all? Is that because the abuse never really happened and you're just making all of this up to one custody? <coughs> we only have your word. You said he was wonderful. Now you're saying he's a monster. Were you lying then? Or are you knowing now? You're a lawyer, Celeste. You know how important it is to have a witness. Mrs. Hill. That's her when she was little. This was her room, actually. <coughs> you know, she lived in that bed. You know, she said a lot of things towards the end that didn't make sense, and one of them was that Jacqueline needed her couple stars. And I didn't understand her, but I guess I do now. I did. I took care of her. So, yes, I'm sure it's fine to keep the tea set as long as your parents agree. I'm going to leave out of this for everything. No juice or whatever my mom has. I broke a mug once, so I'm not allowed to make any bad luck. This looks pretty bad. No beer. Drink out of your cup of stars. Insist on your cup of stars. Once they've trapped you into being like everyone else, then you'll never see your cup of stars again. But you should wash it first. It's very dusty. <laughs> to the compasses because she wanted to keep us safe and she just wanted to protect us. Oh Thank my gosh, you. calm down. I never should have yelled at her. I never, oh my gosh, I never should have done that. I'm such a horrible person. Oh my this God. is not your fault. Yeah, it's Luca's. It wasn't her fault either. <laughs> so you're telling me she wasn't way out of line? <laughs> totally, but so are you. Oh my gosh, can you guys ever give me a break? <laughs> no. You gave me a break. All three of you were being a bunch of little assholes. I was the only reasonable one. Bottom line is, you push first. You know the rules. You're all first blood. No. No way you think I'm going to shake her hand. You're shaking her hand. No, I'm not. <coughs> this isn't a discussion. This is rule of law. Obey? We vanished from the party. Do you want to be banished? No, I don't want to be banished. Good. <sighs> what do you want? I do first blood, so. Okay, I'll shake. On one condition. You forget the weirdo, and we go straight to the game. Then the deal's off. Fine. Fine. No, no, not fine, guys. Do you even remember what happened on the Blitzstone Pass? 
We couldn't agree on what path to take, so we split up the party. And those trolls took us out one by one, and they all went to shit, and we were all disabled. So we stick together, no matter what. Yeah, I agree. But this is the party, right here in this room. And Eleven is one of us now. Why can't you understand that? Um, no she's not. Never will be. She's a liar, a traitor. She was just trying to protect you. She never meant to hurt you. It was an accident. An accident? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, admit it. It, it was a little awesome. Awesome? Um, yeah, she threw you in the air with her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly why we need her. She's a weapon. Do you really want to be fighting the Demogorgon with your little wrist rocket? That's like r 2 d trying to fight Darth Vader. We're no use to Will if we're dead. If you two want to waste your time looking for a traitor, then go ahead. Because I'm not spending my time on her anymore. No way. I'm going to the gate and I'm going to find Will. Thanks a lot, Destina. How is this my fault? It's always your freaking fault! with the rest of the housewives making blankets and cooking in the macaroni. You're going to meet a lot of new people. Smart people. You don't have losers is what you mean? No, don't say that. Don't even think that. Forget it. I'm not going in with a bunch of losers. If you don't, then you're an asshole. What's an asshole only to do with my friends? It's ridiculous if your friends can drag you down. You hang with us, you'll just be another dumbass girl with shit for brains. I mean, you could be a real writer someday, Georgie. You know what? Screw writing. It's stupid. It's a stupid waste of time. <laughs> That's your dad talking. Bullshit! Bull true! I know how your dad feels about you. He doesn't give a shit about you. Danny was the one he cared about. Me? Don't try to tell me different. You're just a kid, Georgie. Oh, thanks, Dad. I wish I was your dad. You wouldn't be going around talking about taking these stupid OMET courses if I was. It's like God gave you something. I mean, all those stories that you can make up. So try not to lose it. But kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. And if your parents are too screwed up to do that, then maybe I should. Now come on, I will call you. I can't. I can't do it, okay? You can't. You can't. Do it. What do you mean you can't do it? I can't give the letter to Nikki. Tiffany, what are you talking about? What do you mean you can't give the letter to Nikki? Because uh, what am what am I what am I getting? What are you doing for me? Tiffany, <laughs> you said you said that if I wrote a letter that you would give it to Nikki. Mm -hmm. That was the setup. 
No, it's because I do this every time, okay? I, I give and I give and I give to everyone else. And I wake up and I just, I feel empty, okay? Okay, then ask for you. What can I do for you? I can't. I can't. Tiffany, think of something. I can't. I can't. There has to be something. Come on, just think. Okay, there's this thing. There's this thing. There's a thing. There's okay, a thing. What kind of thing? It's a. It's a thing. It's a. It's a. It's, it's a. It's a dance thing. It's a dance thing. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, it's a competition thing at the Benjamin Franklin Hotel, and you know I. I wanted to do it every year, but I couldn't because, you know, my husband would never be my partner, and... Well, Tommy's not gonna do it, he's fucking dead. Okay, can, can we have, like, one conversation without you mentioning that my husband is dead? I have no filter when I talk, sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, you need a freaking partner, and I'm about to miss it for another year. Whoa, whoa, I'm not gonna fucking do a dance with you. Oh, why? You're too busy with Grapes of Wrath and watching football with your daddy. Tiffany, I'm not going to do a dance with you. Then I'm not going to give Nikki your fucking letter. I already did something for you. Oh! <clears throat> what the hell did you do for me? I took care of that jerk off that was outside of your house, oh my man. my god, what, Jordy? Let me ask you something. When you get lonely, do you call him? You shouldn't do that, Tiffany. That encourages them. Couldn't I say the same thing about you and Nikki? It's not at all like me and Nikki. Me and Nikki are in love. We're married. It's completely different. Right. Why don't you tell me about that? I want to understand that. The big Nikki love! Help me understand this stupid shit. It's a very unconventional chemistry we have. It makes people feel awkward, but not me. Okay. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever been with. Right. Well, it's electric between us, okay? Yeah. yeah, we want to change each other, but that's normal. Couples want to do that. I wanted her to stop dressing the way she dresses and stop acting so superior to me. And she wanted me to lose weight and stop with my mood, mood swings. Both of which I've done. Okay. I mean, people fight. Couples fight, we fight, we wouldn't talk for a couple weeks. That's normal. Okay. I mean, she always wanted what was best for me. Right. She wanted me to be passionate and compassionate. And that's a good thing, you know? I mean, look, it's just, I think I'm my best version, and I think that she's her best version today, uh -huh. and together, our love's gonna be fucking amazing. Oh, right. It's gonna be amazing, and you're gonna be amazing, and she's gonna be amazing, and you're not gonna be that guy that takes something without giving something in return. So, think about the dance thing. Tiffany, you have got to be kidding me. My makeup while well, you were at bowling league. You don't have a key to this house. So how'd you get in? I can't tell you that. Unbelievable. And for future reference, go lighter on that rouge, okay? You're gonna end up looking like Raggedy Ann. She got Raggedy Andy looking like that. That's her brother. Actually, I've been playing with those dolls all wrong. <laughs> so all right, that'll do it. So when exactly did you start letting mom wear makeup? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't really have rules like that. See, yeah. how come you're so cool and my mom's just, she, she's such a dud. Well, I wouldn't call her a dud. Then what exactly would you call her? Well, <laughs> the point is, she wasn't always like that. What was she like? <laughs> As a teenager? She was just wild. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she would wait 
till I fell asleep. Then she would sneak out and get into all kinds of trouble with all her friends. My mom. Mm -hmm. Your mom. <laughs> and then she would climb up the tree by the side of the house and sneak back in. That's so cool. <laughs> Is that how you're getting in? I'll never tell you that. Right here. Oh my. <laughs> That's my mom. Is she smoking a cigarette? Yep, probably stole it from me. <laughs> that's, that's so cool. First of all, smoking is not cool. You do it. Yeah. And the next time I'm hawking up some black goo from my lung, I'll call you over. And then you can see how cool that is. Awesome. It is not awesome! Jeez. As far as your mom, I think she started to turn things around. And she adopted you. You mean me and Sheldon? No. I mean you. I mean, Sheldon was born fine. But you... You're a different story. Why? Okay. Well, there was a point when the doctors didn't think that you and your biological mom were going to make it. Your mom got so scared. She made a promise to God. If you were okay, she'd start reading the Bible, going to church, you know, all that stuff. So, I'm the reason my mom's a dud? <laughs> <laughs> Your takeaway should be you're the reason she's such a good mom, which she is. And the next time you hurt her feelings, which you will, you might remember just how important you are to her. Now I feel bad. Good. I'm making the makeup with you. Cut me till the vegetable. Too. Tell them you want to play soccer. Tell them you want to cheerlead. They're never going to believe me. Yeah, they will. You want to know why? Why? Because it's the truth. Are you scared? No. No, they're, they're all 
I don't know. But who does know? Maybe wherever it is, I'll, I'll run into Taylor. If you go anywhere crazy, will you wait for me? Of course. I don't know what I'm going to do after. Maybe a couple degrees over. You ever been to Wyoming? No. No? Well, I grew up there near Chippewa Falls. Once when I was a kid, me and my dad, we went ice fishing. I don't make a soda. Ice fishing? I, I know what ice fishing is. Right, you just seem more of an indoor type of girl. But like I was saying, anyways, I, I, I've slipped through some thin ice, and I'm telling you, water that cold, like that down there, hits you like a thousand knives all over your body. Can't breathe. Can't think. Not least about anything other than the pain. Which is why I'm not looking forward to jumping in after you. But like I said, I don't think I have much of a choice here. I guess I'm just hoping that you'll come back from over that ledge and get me off the hook here. You're crazy. That's what everybody says, but man, with all due respect, I'm not the one hanging from the back of a ship. <laughs> now come on, take my hand. You don't want to do this. You got this. I'm Jack Dawson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dawson. Nice to meet you too. You got this. Come on. Just 
so nice and slow. Help, 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 help! Look, look at me, look at me. Whatever you do, hold on, okay? I will not let go, just hold on to me, come on. Come on.